Wow, 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 wow. Boy, I got some comments about the reviews I had for Rainbow Reef the first time. Well, we did go back, and we have done their second dives, and I have a few updates for our, for our Rainbow Reef guys. And it's not anything bad, trust me. Coming up next. Okay, so here's what we got. My first review of Rainbow Reef apparently didn't sit well with some viewers because I called them a dive factory. But that being said, it's not a bad thing. Oh, please, people. Rainbow Reef is an awesome dive center. Okay, so those of you who aren't familiar with me, my name is Chris. This is Just Keep Scuba Diving. Scuba diving on a budget where I try to help you save money, save your save your wallet, so we can enjoy great food when we get back to shore. And out of the way, please like and subscribe, comment, I will respond like I'm doing now. So I've had a couple of viewers that have viewed, and not subscribers apparently, because I have only 18 of you, but apparently out of the couple of hundred views I've had of the first Rainbow Reef Dive Center video, I made the mention of dive factory but it's great it's more than just that first rainbow reef dive center key largo florida as you see on this map if you go to the north of the map it's miami if you go to the south of the map it's key west to the east of the map is the atlantic ocean to the west of the map i mean come on people you should go on navigation by now but i know some of you don't the top store that's next to the freeway that is the actual dive school dive store um, that is where you get all your book training, pool training, any of that stuff. And if you want to buy some cool dive equipment, that is where you go to go to it. Now, to go scuba diving, you want to go down to the dive shop. I'll just say store and shop. Okay. So we're going to get out of the dive shop. Now, the one down on the left, that is the one next to the harbor. Now, apparently, there's two different dive places now for them. One main dive store. This is where you go and check in. Go dive shop. This is where you go check in. They tell you what boats you're going to be on. Some of the boats may be on the same side of the canal. Some of the boats may be on the opposite side of the canal. I understand why they did that because they integrated another dive shop and that dive shop had services at that facility over there. So they're just incorporating the same places. Completely understandable. Um, plus, I mean, that many boats, that small of a canal, you can only have so much room. Now, we have know where the location's at. Let's go to how you actually reserve your diving. It's actually really cool. You go to the Rainbow Reef webpage. Bam. There it is, right there. So we flip on, we click on the reservations up to the top. I believe it is. No, maybe over to the left. I'm not sure. Anyway, click on reservations. From reservations, we click how many people are going with us, how many divers we're going to have, um, how many were the dates that we're going to go. That being right there, that, that's it. That's all we really have to do. But they do something else. They have hotels that are incorporated in their diving rates. Some of them may only be like a 2% discount. Again, discount's a discount. What can I say about that? So you click on that page, you reserve the hotel rooms, how many days you're going to be there. It tells you the exact amount you're going to pay. What else do you Now you can budget your trip. Instead of guessing, I got to do $35 a day plus tanks plus this plus... It's right there. Done. That is the setup of your vacation. Now you sit back and wait to go diving. So you get there, you check in at the little store, they say, okay, you're going to go on the Odyssey, Tropical Odyssey, and it's right there on the, it's right there on that side of the canal. You check into that canal, it's done. You give them your you put your gear to table that you're gonna be because the table there's there's tables there that are color coded. You check in at the Odyssey and the crew, they say, Yep, that's okay. And then you're sitting there and you're waiting for them to get the boat ready. Once they give you permission to go on the boat, you hand them the gear, you get on the boat, they hand you back the gear, you start setting it up. I will say this, from the first time I dove with them to now, they have kind of changed their mentality about setting up of the gear. I don't know what the heck that was. The setting up of the gear. Used to be, you set your own gear up, there was no questions asked, that's what you did. 
here lately, I noticed that some of the crews are actually offering to help you set up the gear. Now, for those of you that don't want your gear touched, you can say no, it's okay. For those of you that are new in setting up your gear, you can say yes, and they will walk with you and walk through the setting up of your gear. Me, Tammy, we got used to being at their service center and or at their dive center and jumping on the boat, immediately setting up our gear, getting our weights, whatever weight we're going to get, and off we go. If you're diving nitrox, this is the point in time they are going to come around and have you analyze the tanks that you're diving in. That's it. All right, so you've done your first dive. Beautiful, great. It was wonderful. It was awesome. Get up. Start changing out your gear. Put it onto the second tank. Now, during this time, again, there's been some mentality switch, and I think it was the acquisition of the other company. Used to, they were like, you get your gear, and that's all you get. You change your gear out, and hurry up and do it by the time we get down to the next site, or by the time we get ready to go back in the water. Now it's been, I, I, we, we were asked, do you want us to help? Which kind of threw us off because we already had our gear swapped over. Um, one of us would wait while the other one swapped, especially when we have two beefier people next to us. I mean, you're not in much of room to do that with. Um, and then you do your second dive. Come back up. And, and, and also they changed some of the snacks. Some of the snacks are now not just cookies, but nuts. Take some oranges with you. The oranges are great to get that ocean water out of your mouth. Take some little halos. Uh, we loved halos. Um, so we do our second dive. Jump up, come back up out of the water. Guess what? They're there to help you get your stuff and put it up. But guys, don't just sit there on the boat. Take your gear, stock it up, put it underneath the bench like it's supposed to be. Put it over on the, you know, advise which one's gonna be you know which one's going to be the, the 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 rental gear but if it's your gear put it up take it off put it up bring it out get ready to go so when you get at the dock all you got to do is grab your bag tip your divers your dive masters and your dive guides and get off the boat i'm not saying get off but i am saying just get off the boat anyway <laughs> but that's it that's rainbow reef they do try to break down your dive guides now to be four and five people per guide. Um, the first time we went, there were eight of us per guide. I don't think they had as many guides that day. That's the problem. They do try to break down the dive guides to be four or five people per dive, which makes it a whole lot easier. I do not suggest, unless you've been diving there every day of your life, I do not suggest not going without a guide. They're free. So there you go. That's it. That is Rainbow Reef Diving in an essence. Um, I spent my time at the courtyard. I want to go to the Holiday Inn next time, see what's over there. When my, but both of those are on the same side and within walking distance. You can actually pick your gear up and walk to the boat from the hotel room. That is awesome. I love that. Um, but, I mean, what else could I say? Even though I said it was, yes, a dive factory. It is a great dive vacation it is a great dive company um of course everybody has their quirks everybody has their problems everybody has their solutions it is one of if you go to key largo to go scuba diving you should go there rainbow reef dive center in key largo florida is the dive location to go to for your main scuba diving i just just the place to go to that's it so have a good day scuba diving on a budget my name is chris hit like and subscribe i'm trying some new things out love you all love all 18 subscribers and all the viewers out there rainbow reef dive center have a good day good day good day good day <laughs>